Hey you guys, Renator41 here, and today I'm back with another update video on the Crystal Temple. I've been working on it more. Somebody just, just started their truck with dual exhaust. It's only, it's 3 p.m. It's a Friday, so, <laughs> yeah. Hashtag Coastal Carol on the spring break. Hashtag in high school. Hashtag not actually going there, but still get to be off school. Anyway, so... Yeah, these are all the blocks I've used so far. I say blocks, some of them. Like, there's a bit of redstone involved, just, you know, the door, the temple door, and another star, which, I mean, you get it, you get it. Anyway, so that's all I have so so far, what I've used. I'm probably going to need a second double chest, because this is, I haven't even gotten to the freaking actual statue yet. Or the gem root, oh my god, this thing. It's coming along pretty nicely, though. I mean, I have this rock, I don't think I talked about this last time, but it's... It's just a rock. It's, it's in all the pictures I've seen. Ignore that redstone because that's going to be covered up by a mountain later. But this, as you can see, we got the big uh, hand of the step. Uh, hand of the st Ow. Come on now. I'm an idiot. Got the hand of the statue is what I was trying to say. And it's like holding the house. I'm going to probably tweak it a little bit more as I keep going. But then... Of course, I haven't quite started on the two big hands that'll be holding this. And, as you can see, I have this area with the warp pad. Oh, oh, oh. What the heck? That was weird. Anyway, um, so we've got these lights uh, going around it. It's supposed to be like the crystals that surround it. And then there's these little stairs and the stairs up on the sides. And then you can walk right onto the warp pad. And I, I tried to have, because there's like crystals kind of embedded in the walls. So I tried to put some, uh, like some prismarine. I might, I don't know, I might change it to be like stone and then put, uh, ores in it. I don't know. I'm not sure yet. But then of course we got this big wall with, uh, what would be the rose quartz gem relative to the statue. And then we have this door with the... You know, another star in it. Oh, uh, no. Okay, there we go. Of course, we got these things, like, kind of protruding out of the walls. And then you just push the button. You can go in here, and I'm going to build the, the actual gem rooms <laughs> later. That's pretty much all I have so far. I just have all this. It's like a T-flip-flop here, and I have to link them together, and then it's just a door. But... Yeah, as you can see, I kind of started on the hands, that's these, but then I thought it'd be more important to do the inside first. And, uh, yeah, so down here we've got this, and if you're wondering why I built it out of cobblestone, it's so that I can, in, like, integrate this, um, mossy cobblestone in there, and it'll look good, you know? Try to make it actually look good and not, like, complete... <sighs> random mossy cobblestone blocks, you know? But then that also kind of makes it weird for if I change this into stone instead of cobblestone, but I think I can actually make it look good because with this statue on the outside being cobblestone, like, you won't be able to really see any of it from the inside anyway. As long as I make sure that the stone isn't visible from the outside, it'll be pretty good. But anyway, yeah, I really like how this looks right now. I'm still, like, considering, like, very much considering, oh crap, changing this to, uh, stone. I might do that later, like, I might do that after I finish recording this video, but, yeah, just figured I'd let you guys know where I am, got the actual inside done, for the most part. I was thinking about doing other tutorials, like, besides just Steven Universe as well, like I was going to do some of these blocks, or maybe these mobs. There we go. So yeah, uh, I guess, let me know in the comments if you, if you would want to see tutorials other than just Steven Universe. Like, I could even do this wand statue, or these mobs, like I was saying before. I think the blaze is probably my favorite one that I made. Because I have, like, parkour in it. Freaking... 
come up here. There's a lot of you hit your head parkour, so you have to be careful about it. Okay, yeah, I made it so that I cannot fly, that's good. You have to constantly be looking to make sure you're not going to hit your head, like... And it actually goes somewhere, it just goes like up in the side of the blaze head. <laughs> For no reason. Uh, so yeah. I think that's gonna be it for this video so yeah like I said uh, let me know in the comments if you want me to do tutorials other than just Steven Universe and hopefully my crystal temple will be done soon probably not this weekend but hopefully soon so yeah uh, like comment and subscribe actually what if I just kill myself It's possible. Yep, you just have to, because my hunger's down a little bit, so all I have to do is get high enough to where I'll take damage. Do it like two, two or so more times. Bam. Alright guys, so like I said, that's it for this video. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe. I'm going to stay like this. I will see you guys later.